Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by Mr. Samah Abdullah, the editorial manager at the Haram newspaper. Mr. Samah, a very good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Uh, let's start uh, first and foremost, uh, sir. Trump or Biden? Is it a difficult choice for Americans, in your opinion? Uh, I'm sorry, is it what first? I'm asking you, Trump or Biden, is it a difficult choice for Americans, in your opinion? Uh, to, to choose between one, you mean? Yes. Of course, it's, it's always the same case uh, whenever you have elections. You have several uh, candidates and you have to choose one. Mm. And uh, as you can see, we have two um, somehow different candidates. Usually we used to have similar, similar uh, candidates uh, uh, running for, uh, for, for, the, for the office. Um, yes, they might be Demo a Democrat and, and, um, and a Republican, but again, uh, you, you couldn't make a lot of differences, or you couldn't see, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, um, make, uh, you, could, you, you, you couldn't see exactly uh, that uh, why you should uh, why you should uh, uh, vote for one and not for the other. So this time and and the, the one before, uh, we have uh, Trump. That is a very special case, um, a politician that is not a, a politician. Uh, he has his own approach. He uh, uh, has the ability to attract a lot of uh, the grassroots, as they say, the people, you know, normal, uh, simple Americans that uh, uh, he is able of uh, communicating with them in a very nice way. On the other side, we have Biden, that is a, a real politician that has been uh, in, in the business for, for long, and uh, he, he is giving a different approach. So, um, yes, it, uh, I, I won't say it's difficult, but I say we have... We have two uh, very special candidates and uh, two different candidates, and they have to make a choice. Mm -hmm, indeed. Now, let's talk a bit about the current situation. Um, four years ago, the world was stunned when Trump defeated the former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton by a very narrow margin. Uh, millions of people, not just Americans, but everywhere in the world are waiting for any news, uh, wondering if uh, the polls that are tipping Joe Biden's lead got it right or not. Uh, how do you see the importance this time round, and what uh, is at stake here, uh, in your opinion, sir? Uh, look, America is not um, a small country, and it is, run, it is not run by one person. And, uh, and uh, they have a strategy, and this strategy is created by a lot of uh, circles and a lot of uh, think tanks and, uh, um, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, groups of power. And, and uh, yes, when, when, when you have a president, uh, he, he has a, an ability to do some changes, but again, it's very minimal. Mm -hmm. so, so, so I believe uh, uh, um, um, not too much to happen. What America is doing right now will be doing more or less the same, whether it is Biden or, or um, uh, Trump. Trump. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and, and in certain areas uh, that is not very essential or that's not very crucial for the American interests, uh, you might see some differences, but when it comes to the very deep interest or the grand strategy, as they say, of the state, mm. and, no, uh, things are not uh, uh, very likely to, to, uh, to be different, mm -hmm. uh, whether this one or this one wins. Indeed. Now, uh, Mr. Samah, how do you see the handling of the coronavirus pandemic? And really, it was a crisis in the United States. It still is with thousands, hundreds of thousands of people uh, dying and uh, millions getting infected. How do you see the handling of the coronavirus crisis and its effect on these elections? Look, uh, Trump has his own way of handling this, and uh, it might be uh, very, it might have um, a negative impact on him. Because yes, there are, there are hundreds of thousands and uh, that were infected, and, and uh, you know, lots of people have died. But uh, but on the other hand, he was always talking about the economy, and he was doing this to give to save the economy and to save jobs and so on. Mm. Uh, so and there are again people that w might you know find it more uh, find find his his approach uh, uh, a bit uh, uh, appealing. Um, um, so, so, so you, I, I, I can't say whether he was handling it good or bad, you know, in general, but would that have an impact on him or not, uh, you know, uh, uh, when it comes to voting? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure 100%.
-hmm. because he he has done a lot of uh, between brackets good things for the American people. Mm -hmm. And he, as I said earlier, he has a very uh, special way of communicating with uh, with the ordinary Americans, you know, the simple Americans mm -hmm. that we really care about their jobs and and uh, uh, the um, uh, threats that are coming. Uh, from uh, immigrants that are crossing the borders. And mm. Yes, such things really, really matter uh, when it comes to, to the, yes. the daily interests of Americans. Yes. Absolutely. So you never know. You never mm -hmm. know. Well, we have to wait for a few more hours and yes. then everything will be clear. Indeed. Now, Mr. Sema, Trump has made major changes in U.S. foreign policy. Uh, he promoted the American first uh, policy, changing how the U.S. acted on issues related to the international arena. Uh, things like border uh, closures, uh, between the states and Mexico, etc. This has all also played a bit uh, in his term as president. Do you see this affecting his rerun campaign? I don't think so, because those who were not allowed to enter, for example, are not voters. So, so, uh, and, and uh, so, I, I don't think he has he has touched um, um, very important groups of voters. You know, it might be, you know, the African Americans because uh, he didn't take the proper or what they were expecting, the reaction they were expecting when uh, when uh, this American um, uh, Africa, Africa, African American was killed, uh, Floyd, I believe mm, his name yes. was. And uh, but, but but again, um, uh, I, I don't think his his um, or, or 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 in other or in another way, I, I think he's very smart. Uh, uh, to to be able to handle such a thing, and he wants to do something that would cost him a lot of votes. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 people might not like Trump, but I really admire his approach, and uh, and I see him a very different from others. And I like this, you know, I like mm -hmm. people that has their own yes. um, approach, mm -hmm. and uh, and they don't just follow what others are doing. Mm -hmm. And this is even a very American. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, culture, very, very important American culture. Indeed. Speaking about Trump, um, during his presidency, the United States uh, withdrew from the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership trade negotiations, the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, as well as the Iranian nuclear deal, which was uh, regarded as a very big achievement uh, with the regards to negotiations between Iran and world powers. Do you think Americans backed those decisions? They don't, they don't care much. <laughs> because this is very yes, this is far from their own daily interest. Hmm. They don't care much. But when when he says, you know, we are withdrawing from this uh, group, for example, to create jobs, or we are creating, uh, we are facing the the Chinese, or uh, you know, um, uh, taking these decisions against the Chinese to save American jobs or to bring the American companies companies back to to America, I think that would uh, um, be. Uh, uh, very appealing to the Americans, and they might uh, support such a thing. But mm -hmm. when it comes to deals with Iran or others, as long as this deal does not affect Amer that does, that does not imply American implementation of troops outside or come uh, one way or another closer to the Israeli interest, then mm. uh, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, the economy is always a key factor when it comes to choice. And uh, how do you see this as playing against Trump? And what does Biden promise to do differently or to improve uh, re regarding the economy? The, the American economy, you mean? Yes, of course. Ah, yes. Uh, Trump, Trump, you know, had uh, a very uh, unusual way of, uh, of uh, you know, handling this issue, and uh, for for I'm not fo I'm not following exactly what was happening during Corona, to be honest. Mm. But before he was always talking about uh, you know uh, low unemployment and the more jobs and uh, and things like that, and I think that uh, that was really um, very useful for the Americans. So uh, so uh, 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 and that and of course uh, Corona, you know, uh, had had its own uh, traces everywhere. Um, not only in America, but uh, so, so perhaps Americans would, would not pay much attention to what has happened because of Corona, hmm. uh, based on what he was able to achieve before. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, he was making uh, very unusual deals with our countries all over the world, mm. $400 billion, uh, I don't know, agreement with a certain country. Yes. And uh, yes, and there, uh, yeah, with the... Uh, with China, he was uh, yeah, more or less between brackets again successful, according to the Americans. Some of, um, I mean, lots of Americans, because you know he was able to 
um, uh, to uh, stop uh, importing uh, Chinese goods. Uh, uh, mm. Yes, uh, mm. not just Chinese, but uh, I mean low cost, uh, very cheap uh, products uh, that was hurting the American economy. Mm. So I think he was doing fine. Mm -hmm. Look, look, I'm driving, so I hope uh, if you have extra questions, that's really fine. Otherwise, I won't be able to talk more. <laughs> one, <laughs> one final question, if I may, since okay. you, since you mm. board up China. Uh, do you think Democrats will handle uh, the U.S.-China trade war differently than what Trump has done? Uh, look, it's, it's not uh, easy to say, because if, uh, if I would say no, because they, uh, they were not doing this before, mm. yes, but the situation was not as it is right now before. Mm -hmm. And we have to realize that the idea is not that Trump, that Trump doesn't, doesn't like the Chinese, it is that China is taking over. The, the, you know, number one, uh, uh, you know, being, being number one country in the world. Mm. And, and that's not uh, something that Americans would feel uh, easy to, uh, to deal with. Mm -hmm. So, so, so wh wh what I can assure you is that the current confrontation between China and, and, uh, and America will go on uh, uh, one way or another in a certain shape or another. But uh, I'm not expecting this, uh, this uh, relationship to, to be totally different from what it, uh, it is going through right now. So will he do it in, in uh, using the trade or, uh, uh, you know, or, or other means? I'm not sure. But, but again, what I'm sure of is the, 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 the confrontation is going to stay and it, it will never come to, um, you know, uh, to a direct war. Mm -hmm. I mean, there will, there, it will never reach... Um, uh, uh, you know, confrontation, military confrontation, direct military confrontation. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Right. That's, 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 that's what I can tell you. Right, absolutely. Thank you very much, okay. Mr. Sam yeah. Abdullah, the editorial manager from Al Aram newspaper. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for your insight. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after a short break. Stay tuned.